Well, the Indiana Department of Health reporting a slight increase in infant mortality rates across the state. The rate has slightly improved among white and Hispanic children, but increased with black infants. Zeke Torres joins us now with more. Zeke. Well, Mike, Dana, mental health issues and substance abuse have been some of the leading causes of the rising infant mortality rate. And locally, officials are attacking this issue head on. Now, the most recent data available shows those deaths have nearly doubled within our region. From 2018 to 2019, the state's southwestern region reported an increase of infant mortality deaths from 4.5% to 9.5. Matthew Herrick with Union Health's All Baby Initiative says the jump is a small glimpse to a bigger issue. In looking at 28 infants, that is a classroom, um, which is just heartbreaking. One infant death is too many. Um, like I said, it's, it's a community approach, so it really speaks to the health of our community um, and, and how our infants are being raised. The Indiana Department of Health lists mental health and substance abuse as two contributing factors in the rising infant mortality rate. From August 2020 to August 2021, a newly developed Wabash Valley fetal and infant mortality review team found 18 of 23 infant death cases had preventable factors. Adding to this were new challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic like housing and financial worries. If there are no coping mechanisms in place um, or a, a peer support to lean on, it can be very hard to deal with. Um, and, for, and unfortunately, that can result in um, some negative outcomes um, and health risks as well. In order to correct the issue, the All Baby Initiative focuses on ensuring stable housing, early prenatal care, and available resources. What's happening now? What can we do to prevent it? Um, and it's not just one organization that can do this on its own. Um, it's, a, it's really a community approach. For more information on resources available, visit our website, mywabashvalley.com.